this is a modern day adaptation of the 17th century fable about Matty Groves. It's about Matty Groves, Lord Darnell and his wife which proves that women have been cheating since time began or at least the 17th century First on a day, first rave of the year Easter Bashman, Darnell's wife's lover dumb step and taking her here Lights a snout in her mouth, out with the gals, rowdy and loud Decides to take a walk out and about, spots Matty Grohl's walking out in a crowd Closing time she decides to approach him like I'm sure that we've met before and drops that I think I know him like You look familiar but I can't tell I swear I've seen you out with a cartel Then in come the ringing of alarm bells Weren't you the girl that got hit with Darnell? As he's walking her home Darnell's mate made a call on the phone Darnell, where you at bro? I swear I'll see your girl in a cab with Matt Gross She wouldn't be that dumb, surely? Sure it was her? Yeah, but what's the, I don't think that they saw me Good! Well if anything happens it's best you inform me so Matt Groves has gone back to this chick's house Obviously he's gonna work it out Every man in the club wanted to work it out He's gonna talk about it the next day with his mates He don't give a shit But he don't know what's ahead of him So Matt laid his head down to rest Like as if he just smoked a pound of stairs He falls into a nightmare He ain't never seen Darnell's face be standing right there But he couldn't tell cause the lights were dim All he could see was a guy with a grin Whilst told him what could only be described as Well, one of his wife's limbs He awakes, the same guy walks in the room and shouts I heard you were caught in this dude but I never thought it was true, yet here you both are, caught in a nude Allow it, bro. Oh good, you've learned to grovel, fortunate for you Put your clothes on, bitch, I'll talk to you soon So how did you like my wife? 50 inch TV and sniffing my wife Have you done this before? Was she all that and more? Was it really worth losing your life? Yes, I enjoyed your TV, and yeah, I enjoyed your wife And yes, I enjoyed your wifey, but it ain't worth losing my life I admire your honesty, but honestly It will be off of your head unless you kneel like Morrissey I will shatter your bones like crockery what, you promise me? If I get on my knees and beg, I'm sorry, D. Matt, get off my leg. On your feet, let's do this properly. So Darnell walks into the room and catches his wife at it with some other you. I mean, come on, you ain't gonna let no you take it for no dickhead. So let's face it, he picked up a shank and started stabbing people. What the fuck would you do? You see, I can relate to your hype. I can tell by your face that it's blatantly lies. I can tell by your face that it's blatantly pie. I can tell that it's blatantly just waiting and cry. I will smear your blood in the face of my wife. Once I'm done with you, you'll be aching to die. Once you're at the pearly gates waiting in line, tell God there is no man greater than I. The Matt swings a wild blow with a sword that gets stabbed in the neck and then thrown to the floor. He couldn't get off for the life of him. He takes a look at Darnell's wife and grins. Takes his last breath as the knife goes in. Darnell turns to his wife to sit on my lap. I ain't gonna hurt you, I just wanna chat Make your decision, which is it to be? Die with Matt or live it with me? I'd rather kiss the dead lips of Matty Groves Than be with you, you fussy old Began. Everyone's come to the same conclusion It is just keep an eye on your missus You never know when someone's gonna be running up to your missus Trying to stick their dick in her And then she's gonna think to yourself Do you know what this guy's an upgrade for my man? Then you gotta kill them both Then what happens? You go to jail And once you go to jail You spend your life in there Thinking about how much of a dickhead You were stabbing your missus in the first place But hey, that ain't your fault 